So uh, today I'm going to do a shoe unboxing, but it's more of a review because I've had the shoes for four months now. It's technically not an unboxing, it's my four month review of the shoes and my experience with them. The shoes I am reviewing, unboxing, not, I keep wanting to say unboxing, but then I catch myself. Anyway, they are the cute to the core, this is the beautiful box they come in. I always keep my shoe boxes. But cute to the core, killer, uh, spiked flats. Now, I originally wanted the Unif Hellraisers, but I didn't like how little the spikes were. And let's all be honest, those things are <laughs> fucking expensive for shoes. And for flats, that's ridiculous. Just a little bit. Um, now, after purchasing these shoes, if I'm going to get another pair of spiked flats, I will probably splurge and get the Unif ones. Just because I don't see that many bad reviews over them and the spikes falling out or the shoe breaking. Let's get on to the shoes. They look like this. Um, the spikes are very, very sharp. Uh, they're really dirty because I've been wearing them kind of as an everyday shoe for four months. But I had these a week and a spike fell out. And I kind of thought, well, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I've been too rough with them, whatever. But it got to the point where I would just be sitting on the couch, you know, like with my shoes on and I would go to stand up and I would hear a spike fall out. And it wasn't like I was doing anything. So I've had these since February. They were my Valentine's Day gift. Um, now this is like, I think it's faux leather. I don't know, I didn't read on it. So this is the left foot shoe and over the course of four months I've already lost nine spikes. Now, I mean, that's expected with shoes that have spikes in them, but nine in one shoe. And then I lost four in the right shoe. Um, the left shoe is the one that's the worst because this is the part that wrecks my heart. Because, I mean, I would wear it even without the spikes. Like with, them, with the spikes falling out and everything, I would still wear the damn shoe if, it didn't, if this didn't happen. But I was noticing about two months ago that it started ripping a little. Now this has been a course of wearing two more months. Look how awful this is. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. And it is almost, it's went through every layer of the shoe, but the, but the one right here. So um, within just a little bit, it's gonna be breaking through. And if you step on a rock in this shoe and with it like this, I mean, you feel it. So it's, it's about to poke through, it's about to break completely. That, that disappoints me very much because I really like these shoes, I love them. I mean, I like, I'm a big spike kind of girl and when I seen these had he, the bigger spikes than the units, I was like, oh my God, yes. But um, I've learned through this pair of shoes, I mean, I could order another pair of these and not have a problem with them. I mean, they might not do this. But it's just both shoes have done this. This one's not as bad. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna break, break it even more. Okay, these were I want to say forty dollars. There was it was not more than like forty five dollars for shipping and everything. And I mean, like I said, I could go buy another pair of these and never happen, or I could spend the money on a decent pair of spike flats like the Unifs. And probably never have a problem out of them, which I mean, I know spikes are gonna fall out of shoes, but it's just the fact that it's ripped and it's just completely awful. And I mean, I love the shoes. I'm still wearing them now. I'm just, you know, I guess kind of waiting for them to completely break so I don't have to. Like, I don't, like, there's a spike coming out right now. <laughs> as I'm talking, there's a spike coming out. In the box, there was no replacement spikes at all. And then. It was this shoe. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but whenever I receive these shoes, you know, um, in stores they have the little like anti-theft things. This shoe, the right shoe, had one in it, and we had to work on it for like an hour to get it out, and it actually ripped the shoe. So I ordered it from yourcitymycity.com, but it's like ycmc.com. But, um, yeah. I also seen these shoes on Hot Topic for I think sixty dollars, almost seventy. But they're definitely, to me, my personal opinion, they're not worth seventy dollars. I mean, if you get one of the, if you've had these pair of shoes and you've had the same experience with them, then they're not worth the money. I mean, it's better off to just splurge and get the Unif ones and have a pair of shoes that you're not going to have to keep replacing every four months because these have about had it. Yeah, that makes me so upset though because I really like these shoes. And I'm still wearing them. 
Um, but I think if you're going to get these shoes, don't get them for everyday wear. So that's what I got them for. And it turns out that they're just not cut out for it. Um, I think they're better off for maybe like photo shoot shoes or just like, you know, specific outfit shoes, just not everyday shoes. I think I'm going to retire them and use them just for certain outfits. I think I might just keep these shoes for that purpose or for like outfit of the day videos. I'm very disappointed. It's not like I'll never purchase from this company again. It's just, I probably just will not purchase the killers anymore. I mean, I was expecting so much out of them and I love them so much. And if anybody was like looking these up to buy them and they were curious, um, this is my experience with them. I mean, don't go by my experience. I mean, if you're just wondering about the shoes in general, then that's, then, you know, this is, this is my experience with the shoes. And I really wish I had a better experience with them. But I hope this helped you guys. And, I mean, get them if you want to. Maybe mom did this to you. But it did it to me. And then also, I just now noticed this. Um, there's little holes in the bottom of this shoe. I don't know if you can even see it or not. I don't know if you can see that. There's little holes back there. I don't I don't know what that's from. I, get, I don't know, maybe I stepped on like a really sharp rock or something. I don't know, but there's four little holes back here. And yeah, that's on the shoe that's on as bad. This one doesn't have those. But the um, whatever, if this is leather, faux leather, whatever, it's starting to rip too. I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to throw them away. That's my review of these beauties. And um, I hope this helped you guys if you're planning to order these shoes or just curious about them. Uh, I looked up, there was only one other review of these shoes and it was like they, it was an unboxing. And I thought, well, hey, I'll do a review since I've had them for four months. But yeah. I love them though. How many times can I say I love them? They're so pretty and they're so cool and they match my personality. Can you tell I'm conceited and I'm just joking? I really, really, really love these shoes. I'm just going to say it. We're going to get married. These are my marriage shoes. Maybe the cute to the core will see this video and be like, hey, we need to step it up and put more padding or glue and screw this box in. But I will talk to you guys later. Well, Technically, it is talking to you guys in my next video, right? I don't know. There's a bug on the wall. I get distracted. Bye!